Hello, so today we are going to talk about suppression list, how to suppress people, which are the people that you should suppress, which are the people that we suppressed, how often should you do it. So we will try to give you the answer for all of those questions in this video and we will start with how often do we suppress people and that is once per month. Usually between the first and the fifth of the month we do the suppression. Now it's not the first of the month but this is for the purpose of the video. Yeah, we do it usually once in a month from first to fifth and we do it mainly for two segments. Sometimes we do additional things if we find spam emails or something like that, we immediately suppress those. But in general, it's just two segments that we suppress. Which are those two segments? I will tell you and I will try to explain how those two segments work. So the first one is bounced four plus segment that we have. And the definition of this segment will give you the explanation of what actually is happening with these people. First, to explain that there are two types of bounces. There are hard bounces and soft bounces. Hard bounces is, is if the email doesn't exist, someone gave you the wrong email, and when we try to send an email, it will be a hard bounce because this email di didn't exist. But if you try to send an email or and this person's email, uh, inbox was full, they can't receive more email, or inbox provider was not available for the moment, this would be a soft bounce and they're not suppressed immediately. So if it is a hard bounce, Klaviyo and other platforms automatically remove these people, suppress them, but if it is a soft bounce, they're left into the account. If some profile in Klaviyo specifically, if they bounce, soft bounce seven times in a row, they will also be suppressed. But we don't want to wait for someone to bounce seven times. So what we have as definition here is if someone bounced four times overall time and they didn't open any email in the last 60 days and they're still uh, subscribed to our email list we want to suppress them in this case that is three people so that is the first segment that we want to suppress i will go later on how we do it first i want to explain which are the people that we suppress so first it's these people who bounced and who are not active in the last 60 days and then the second one is called subscribers. So who are called subscribers? Called subscribers are the people who have suppressed property as true and who opened zero emails in the last 90 days. How do they get the suppressed property? We have a separate flow for these people and that flow is triggered by a segment. So we create a segment of unengaged people, people who didn't open in the last 90 days or didn't click any emails. And then if people are inactive for 90 days, they get into this segment, they trigger the flow, they had additional three or four chances with three or four emails in that flow to try to re-engage them. If they still don't engage with those emails, that is when they get the suppressed property and they get into this segment that we suppressed. So this means like these people were unengaged in the past. They get a chance like with additional two or three emails to engage. They didn't. So this uh, sunset flow that we are sending them through is just a confirmation that they are unengaged. After they go through the flow and they still don't engage with any of the emails in that flow, that is when, this, when we suppress them. So now on how we do the suppression. So the easiest way to do the suppression is just go to the segments that you want to suppress, go to manage segments and then export segment to CSV. Uh, you need to have at least admin access to be able to do this in the account. And we just need the emails for that list. We don't need any additional information. And then we click start export and this will download the list to our uh, computer. So this is one option and this is the easiest and this is when you have more profiles. And I will show you for the bounced segment that we suppressed, I will show you the other option because we only have three people there. You see there are only three members here. So we'll do it differently for these three people because it's easier. You see, these are just uh, tests that we did. So obviously they're not emails. So let's see how to suppress people now. Let's say we downloaded the list or we, we want to suppress people. So we go to profiles in Clavio. Then we go to view suppress profiles. And here all the suppress profiles with the reason of how they are suppressed. So you see this one is hard bounce. This one unsubscribed, unsubscribed this one bounced. So now we want to add people. 
and the two options that I said on how we can suppress. The first one is the easier one where we just can add separate emails one by one. So we go add email address, we add the email and click add email address and this person will be suppressed. And you see when we suppress people, it says user suppressed. So we can do this for all three of the emails that we have here. And as you can see, this is pretty easy. But when, when you have hundreds of emails, this will take you a lot of time. So you can do it one by one when you have less emails or you can do it with importing a list. To import the list, first you need to download the list. And if you remember the cold subscriber list we downloaded, uh, I'm not sure. Let me see if I downloaded that list. So you go to, let me go back to the suppression list. So when you go to the suppression list, if you click on import and click upload, and here you will be able to find uh, the downloads that you have. This is still not done because Claudia sometimes is slow with downloading uh, subscribers. So the list that I requested to be, uh, to be suppressed, the cold subscriber list is still not suppressed, uh, downloaded. And we will need to wait a little bit for that. You can check in your settings always about how the downloads are going. And okay, download. And now we have the list. So now if we go back, click upload, go to downloads. Uh, this is the list that I just downloaded. And it is just emails from the cold subscriber list. You can always check the list if you're not sure, just to make sure that this is the right people. But you see, these are the 22 people that you want to suppress, just emails. So we can go and click upload. And now this again will take some time until it uploads the people, depending on how big the list is. It may take more or less time because this was a smaller list of so just 20 people. It suppressed them all. And as you can see, now we have them all here. Uh, so yeah, that is the main two lists. We do it once a month. At the beginning of the month, we suppress two lists. I explain how we get people into those lists. And at the end, this is how you suppress them, either one by one or by importing a bigger list. Uh, if you have any additional questions about this process, uh, feel free to ask, but that would be it from us for now. Thanks, have a great day. Want to discover how much money your email marketing can actually bring you? If that's the case, let our team of email marketing experts show you how. With our free email marketing audit, we'll conduct a comprehensive analysis of your email marketing efforts, provide you with an action plan, and show you how to effectively segment and convert your audience. Simply go to flowium.com slash audit and book your audit today. In case you have any additional questions about this video, please leave them under this video. And to show the support, please, please click on the thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you next Thursday. Bye.